Hello, you are listening to 93.3 CFRU FM. This is Wabi, and today I'm joined by John Common. John, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm not so bad. Um, so, John's in town to play uh, the lovely Kazoo Fest this year. How are you feeling about that, John? Uh, yeah, it's been. I've been thinking about this for years. They, uh, I've known the Kazoo folks for a while from uh, Edmonton days uh, and yeah I'm very excited I was here last night it looked like a really great uh, show great festival yeah I think was it No Boys um, yeah and, and uh, Mano yeah No Boys was fantastic I didn't know who they were but yeah. they blew me away yeah and, I just and, fa- found out about them recently as well because apparently one of my friend's roommates is in the band oh, okay and so it was kind of like oh yeah but yeah um, so this is the start of your kind of eastern tour I think yeah, just a little short, little one week thing, but uh, yeah, look forward to. It's been a long time since I've been out nah. you know, west of the prairies so, or east of the prairies. Or yeah. Um. Well, you just last year, I think it was, you released your new album, No Love. Uh. Yeah, I need love. It's called. I yeah. need love. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, and so apparently it was a lot more. Uh, Motown, I think, was the term. What, People one, like to some of it at least. One song, yeah, I did. It was kind of a little buffet of uh, different little things I felt like doing, but uh, that was the funnest part. I did with Renee Wilson, who, who I guess he's coming in pretty soon with Faith Healer. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he helped me do that, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. So, what would you say your inspiration for that album was? Because it's a hefty album. Yeah, I just felt like doing a whole bunch of songs. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you can't argue with that. Yeah. Kind of comes together. Um, Well, all right. Um, Well, do you want to just kind of get into some tunes right at the start? Sure, sure. Uh, Yeah, I got got some new stuff, uh, some old stuff, you know. Uh, Whatever floats your boat. Whatever you kind of feel like playing, play. Sure, sure. It's all good. Cool. All right. Watch wake out the window Wait for days to arrive To contemplate through the signal If I could, I could wait here all night So work your way through this puzzle That puts you under your wall You become your own double Another subtle one to flush you from your own stall. And on the day after the day, on your circuit, on your way to the depths of your room, fall asleep to the tune. The friendly machine sweeper, step back and wonder why it's too far to make out in your own eyes, your own hand. If you could read through it, it would much of a disguise for all your weight behind your mind thoughts wrapped in notes and paper symbol till your conscience fits you like a thimble washes out so clean and simple like a pair of jeans upon the lines so burn your way through this candle that burns to shed you some light well, I talk more than you can handle well, I can understand you'll stay here burning all night well, see if you can Discover some new direction for that same source of wonder, the same kind you've always known. The whisper and the drone, the steady machine sweeper. And every day, after every day, the same old circuit, the same old way, bound anywhere at all. I'd settle just to fall asleep. To the song of the clean 
machine That was great. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> no problem. Um, do you know what song that was? Oh yeah, that was. <laughs> I think I know. Yeah, yeah. It's called uh, "Street Sweeper." It's um, yeah, off the new album, sort of in, in the middle of a new thing. Um, so yeah, that's that's off that one. No, oh, awesome. Yeah, it was great. Um, do you know? I like to ask this question to a lot of artists about a lot of their songs. Um, so basically it's kind of, what's the inspiration for that song? Like, yeah, I don't know. It's our, yeah, do I they all have a story behind them or do some songs just kind of, I mean, it's definitely about things. Usually yeah. it's, you know, if I, if I can't sleep and I'm just up late and just messing around and there's a certain color in the air that I'm just trying to filter through. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's about the daily routine and you know there's all the things you think about when you're staring at the ceiling at night you know how the brain just kind of runs away from you yeah i tried i try to take that and make it into something nice yeah oh. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I think yeah you did the job there um so you just you got into guelph yesterday right yeah just landed yesterday yeah is this your first time uh, I was, uh, no, I did a house show a few years ago. It was a very, very lovely house show. Um, Michael Dean, uh, no stranger to the radio station here, okay. uh, uh, hosted me a few years ago. But uh, yeah, this is my first time at Kazoo. Awesome. I was going to say, um, do you know what house show it was? Well, it was just at, Mike, uh, at Mike's house. It was going to be at the Cornerstone. Oh, okay. And uh, it was just a holiday and just it didn't work out. So we just sort of packed up and. And I just played to you know, a handful of people in his living room. So it was very one of those really nice kind of occasions that come out of nowhere. Yeah, just a really intimate kind of venue totally. at the end. The most intimate, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, so how long have you been playing music, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, when I was 14 or well, – I guess I started playing drums when I was 11, but – yeah, well, I mean, I haven't. Uh, I've been doing this for about ten years, um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess yeah, it depends on when you start counting, I suppose. But <laughs> um, so you started with drums then, and then I guess presume guitar came up next. Yeah, yeah. Um, I you know if you count, I, I played trombone in grade seven Ooh. for a little bit, but I didn't. I wish I'd have kept it up because later on, actually later on, I was in like a proggy proggy post-rock band and we wanted to do all these strings and horns and i was like uh, oh, i used to know how to play a horn but yeah i played the glockenspiel instead <laughs> <laughs> yeah i kind of semi can relate to there because i've played uh drums and guitar drums is out of the window now because it's been so long yeah me too kind of yeah yeah but i always wanted to play a brass instrument myself so I recently decided to try and teach myself the sax. I was going to say sax would be a cool thing. There you go. How's right? that going? Uh, eh. I well, mean, it takes time. It takes time. I, I can get away with some simple songs, um, but it's kind of like one of those things where I can only teach it so well to myself on a rental basis, right? Sure, sure. Yeah. But, well, and it's always harder when, uh, when you're not a kid because you can hear how bad everything oh, sounds. Oh, yeah. Like if I, like, I don't know how I learned guitar. I just didn't hear how bad it was, I suppose. And just plowed through. Just put headphones on and uh, quiet it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I found a fun little fact, actually, the other day, because um, I kind of did it to myself. I wanted to see how my own singing sounded. Um but I figured that if I heard myself, I just wouldn't, you know, be good. Because I, I had some weird logic to it. But the point is, I put headphones on, played a song, and recorded it on my phone. I couldn't hear myself. And I sounded like garbage. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. But apparently, if you kind of completely block out your own kind of vocal, 
like you can't hear yourself your sure. singing's bound to be garbage apparently uh it, it is it helps to hear yourself yeah, yeah. that's why you know well, right i can hear myself right now yeah. Ho- hopefully it sounds okay. <laughs> oh. like definitely the, the getting you hearing yourself singing does get easier you uh, by now i don't even doesn't even phase me hearing right. myself talking if i listen to this next week or something it's going to be so cringeworthy like to hear myself <laughs> just talk that's that never goes away <laughs> yeah i kind of relate to there you there whenever i try to listen back to like a show i do right I exactly question a lot of the things that did said or uh, the way i do them but yeah. yeah um so would you feel like playing a, another couple tracks for us right now i i think i could get into that yeah, you think you can yeah i think so. awesome do you know which one you're going to play for us first? Uh, yeah, I'll do another. Should I just do two in a row? I have two that kind of flow. I have some that flow into each other. So I yeah, thought this would be a good opportunity for absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. That'd be cool. great. Yeah. yeah. Right. This one's called Away, and then the other one's called Chapel Chimes. Awesome.
falling behind to draw the design of the chapel of charm. Great. Welcome back. You're listening to uh, 93.3 CFRU FM. We still haven't really gone anywhere. Um, that was Still John. Um, that last song was, sorry, what was it again? Uh, that was called Chapel Chimes. Chapel Chimes. Um, and for those of you who might just be tuning in, John is uh, playing Kazoo Fest and will be playing at the 10C Shared Space tonight um, at. 9.30 p.m. It's on 42 Cardin Street. That's right. Yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> um, so your recent album was I Need Love, and the one before that was In the Dark on 99. Yeah, and I did a little EP to squeeze in between there, but yeah, yeah. The, the last big big one was uh, uh, yeah, the 99, yeah. yeah. The EP was the, the Black Pits, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Um. So, I won't lie to you, um, I only really kind of started to hear about you when um, I saw the Kazoo Fest lineup and I started checking out the artists. Um, and I gotta say, I really do like your kind of vibe and folk singiness, as good of a description as that just was. Well, thank I like your vibe too, man. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but I really did like um, In the Dark in 99, kind of the overall vibe. That is the one I kind of listen to more so lately. Mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah i was really happy with that one for sure yeah um but i was reading a kind of album review of it and it kind of really did kind of capture how i kind of interpreted it which was it was a bit of a wintry kind of vibe like it kind of captured the winter essence of like canada for example um for sure yeah it was yeah it, it was originally supposed to be kind of a concept album about winter and then it became something else but uh but uh yeah definitely you know it was, you know, I'm sure Guelph has bad weather too, but oh. Edmonton, Edmonton has bad weather also, uh, you know, and, and the uh, months and months of darkness and all that familiar stuff. But, oh, yeah. But, um, and if I, you know, I, uh, there, are, there are places, it's not just a Canada thing. I always thought it was a Canada thing, but it is silly because there's many, many other places. Like when, you know, I went to, like last year I got to go to Sweden, which was very nice. And awesome. They were like, hey, we have bad weather here too. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, right, you do. Um, yeah. yeah. How about that? Um, so, of all the places you've played then, um, what would you say your favorite venue was? Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. You know what? Since I'm in Guelph, I'll say Mike Dean's living room. <laughs> that was a lovely one. It was a hardwood uh, floor. The sound was great. Hospitality couldn't be beat. Great acoustics? You know? Great acoustics. You know, they had a lovely cat at the time. A cat? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, no, yeah, it was great. Mike and Kathy were really great to me, and all the people that came out, lovely, lovely people. All right. So then, follow that up with, what would you say your favorite city to play in was? 
Aside from Guelph. Aside from, all right, sure. Well, I think Guelph is, is red. Number uh, one. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've had great shows. I mean, the majority of all the shows I've played have been Edmonton, and probably the majority of all the wonderful shows I've played in Edmonton, and also the majority of the bad shows I've played are probably Edmonton. But, um... So I don't know. Yeah, I'd have to think about it. I probably, I mean, the most exotic was probably I played on a boat in Prague. There's a boat venue, um, and it was a very good show. Um, I don't know if it was the best venue, but it was the most interesting venue, that's for sure. How'd that happen? Uh, I guess I got uh, my buddy Eamon, Eamon McGrath. Uh, he, you know, he was kind enough to, to give me a few pointers on, on uh, what he had done when he went out to Europe. And I thought, oh, boat, that looks neat. <laughs> and they answered the email. And, uh, so it worked out. I was like opening for a bunch of Belgian punk bands. It didn't make sense, <laughs> but they were very nice. They, they dug my stuff and I took their stuff. And, yeah. Wow. Yeah. How about that? It's interesting the way things work sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. You, the, you, go, you go where you go and, and the, there's always... You know, it's always interesting. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, do you feel like playing some more songs? Or yeah. do you want to continue chatting a bit more before we get back into it? You know, you're the captain. You're steering the ship. I'm uh, the I captain. Could, I could chat all day with you. I got, right. I got a couple more I could play. I got a, another question for you then. All right, sure. So you've collaborated with another artist playing at Kazoo, right? Oh, If I, I recall. Oh, have I? I don't know. I feel like you mentioned something briefly about it. I I don't really collaborate with my, Oh well, I mean Renee uh, Renee yeah. from Faith Healer did uh, he he helped me do the that Motown song of my yeah, last record. That's what I was. Um, oh okay, recalling. Good song. Um, I don't I don't do hints very well. <laughs> uh, what? I was trying to remember the name, but um, yeah. so then aside from that, if you could kind of join forces and make one uh, song with someone you know playing at Kazoo, who do you think it'd be? Oh, this is a tough one. Mm, well, uh, I, I saw Mauno last night. There's some old pals, and they're just incredible. They're, they're. Uh, if I could, I, I don't think I could be able to keep up if I was in a room making music with them. But uh, I'd like to see how they make the magic that they make for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to. Yeah, be interesting to see how you kind of could mesh into their uh, sound as well exactly because they sent because liza and, and nick make beautiful harmonies so if they ever need someone to just uh get that monotone that, in yeah <laughs> they need just a low a low, the uh, low. hum yeah. at the bottom then I'd, I'd be happy to join in yeah I, I feel like i could relate to that yeah <laughs> maybe if they need to I'll, I'll give you a call <laughs> um if my recent uh, singing experiment has taught me one thing that should never happen <laughs> just keep keep on going man <laughs> keep striving well i appreciate that um all right well yeah let's uh hit back into a couple more tunes you got sure sure i'm pretty nervous these are these are untested tunes so oh untested yeah so as you heard it here first <laughs> for better or worse <laughs> that's exciting look forward to it yeah. thank this you is john common holly road and stars crash down Just a rumble but it rings out so long Colored candles melt into a candy town A smoky ritual that still smells after it's gone Cold beginnings are your science and your art Shaking down to a reducible state and song can take the way Collecting cities like chapters unread books Flipping through corners and intersections as you come Breeze through connections, give no secondary looks Dog ear some pages to revisit when you're home You only survive in the moments you surrender Scrape the remainder from the bottom of your plate And the song can take the weight And the song can take the weight And the song can take the weight And I don't see change
sound of a sudden distance out in the distance under a memory ringing out couldn't wait for notification I didn't cry couldn't notice my own Constellation till I turned around, running the numbers and printing the sheets to publish and pour, shredding and stripping away to the bottom where no light could shine. Felt so small and in danger, never so close to time. Changing my mind. I'm typing these words to reach you. I'm sending this card to greet you. I never took the time to meet you. I'm changing my mind. I'm changing inside a circle half as wide. But you nothing standing by. Moving from bottom to bottom. Side to side, no footprints recognize. I'm moving my body across the ocean blue, no vision being through. Taking the time it takes to take the time. On some shining lake across the sea, that's where I'll always be. Some perfect little. Interlude some lovely attitude I'm skipping through So unbutton your abandoned oceans Unfill the old frozen oceans Dance over this store, it's open Come and change your mind On and on from year to year No clear course to guide Through seasons and construction the border I never have tried but I'm gonna I'm changing my mind welcome back you're listening to 93.3 CFRU FM and still you just heard from John Common that was great Thanks, really dug that one. That's a kind of fresh hit, still yeah, unreleased. Those are two, yeah, two off the new one, and I'm never sure how they're gonna how they're gonna go without the whole uh, title fury of a band, you know. But uh, but uh, yeah, you know, it's fun. It's fun to do it on my own too. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, I really like that one. Um, and so you're saying it's off a new album you're working on? Yeah, yeah. I'm recording um, a buddy of mine named Chris Dadge. He was in a band called Lab Coast, and uh, you know he's a wizard for hire you know session guy for hire he plays with a million awesome bands um so yeah i've been going down to calgary for a few weekends off and on for about six months yeah six or seven months now um and yeah it's been a lot of fun it's really fun to hang out with um full of great ideas you know now i'm just turning into the chris dad praise uh, show but uh yeah that's that's what i've been doing yeah awesome um so 
do you have a kind of idea of what the name of the new album is or are you still kind of oh yeah working on that one i don't know yet i don't know maybe do you have some ideas for some good band uh, good good album names i mean i i could mention if you i wouldn't say they're good well off the do, top of my head do you have some on the top of your head that could, this could be fun uh ju- this is just word mash right now sure um the <laughs> it's hard right <laughs> yeah i was about to just say uh blazing cowboys but sure that doesn't i mean i mean first of all it's a great band name yeah but band it name could but also be a self-titled album yeah. for that uh, i could change because john common did gets me into trouble because i just made up the name out of whole cloth and then it's like <laughs> john people call me john because they think my name is john and then I feel like a funny person. I feel like Bono, <laughs> where people, it happened just today, where it's like, is it Jim? Is it John? What? And people want to be respectful. But I'm like, oh no, now I'm just Sting. Call me Sting. You know? <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, you it know. creates that kind of uh, elusiveness towards it. You know, it, who is he? <laughs> He's a man of many, a man of many mystery. names. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> It was supposed to be like you know, like like destroyer, like a one word, like a. It's like, is it a band? Is it a person? But I just, and instead, it's just. I thought I thought it was just a funny nonsense uh, uh, name because like there's no such name as John. I thought it was funny, <laughs> but now it's caused me all sorts of headaches. <laughs> but I've come this far. I might as hey, well keep going. Yeah, you got to stick to it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I kind of I can kind of relate. Um. I mean, having a name as Wobby, I've I've had all the kind of. I'm sorry. What? It, sure. Wobby. Robbie? No, I, I, it's not a speech impediment. It, it's, oh, man. It's, it's Wobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least you didn't just make yours up out of whole cloth. Your name mm-hmm. like means something. You know? I, I think it does. Um, I'm not, entire, <laughs> not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah. Um, so after Guelph, you're heading to London, right? Totally, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, same thing. Yeah, I was there a few years ago. Um, met some really cool people and just going back to see them again and um yeah that's kind of what this trip ended up being it was just like oh right i haven't seen like kind of my, my folks in a very long time do your folks uh live down in ontario uh oh i guess i meant my my, my just friends folks, my friend folks got yeah. it got it got it i uh, know my folks are back home in uh in alberta but uh, awesome yeah so where's your favorite city in alberta is it edmonton oh i don't have a favorite city. yeah because there's a big like hockey rivalry you're supposed to hate calgary and love edmonton <laughs> but i like calgary too calgary's a great city I don't know. <laughs> but edmonton's home and it's always gonna be a home and a beautiful place and uh whatnot yeah, yeah i don't have a favorite let's just say let's say uh uh you know uh uh canmore canmore yeah all right that's good because nobody's favorite. Can- camro how about camrose nobody <laughs> knows what this is except for Albertans, but it's a it's, no, it's nobody's favorite place camrose oh, yeah. interesting um well like I'm currently planning on moving out west no um, kidding. to yeah I think uh to Banff for a couple of months and by a couple mm-hmm. of months I mean I'm planning close to a year no kidding um, what are you gonna do there just work jobs sweet just to kind of get a change and you know experience the Rockies and such oh yeah um, have you been to the Rockies I've I've never been out west oh yeah you gotta go yeah, to the Rockies. right so, yeah, yeah totally, like totally. I, I've been to all over Europe and stuff but I've never really explored uh my own country so it's kind of one of those things where it's like I need to do this while I can oh exactly that's that was me last time I came through I drove to Halifax and it's like right I need there's a whole other side of the oh, country. Yeah. and even then it was just the bottom ribbon of the country there's still yeah. a bajillion miles north that I haven't seen but yeah exactly I one of my uh, lifetime cities to visit is the Yukon. Uh-huh. I well, really want to go there or well, province uh, territories. I didn't <laughs> want to be the one to correct you. But, yeah. <laughs> no, I've heard Whitehorse yeah. and Dawson are beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I keep forgetting to apply for that Dawson festival. It comes up at a time where I'm never really thinking about it, and then it's too late. I you, think this is one of those years where that's already gone. Anyway, you should. Uh, what's it called? Set a reminder for next year. Yeah, good like idea. way back. Totally. Every now and then I've I've done that and it's mostly just a nonsense reminder that I made as a joke to someone. It's like and p- then pick up milk. It's yeah, like, like two years from now. Two yeah. years later, it's like, oh, we're supposed to have a party at your place, uh, but that's I mean, a good, that's a good reminder, <laughs> right? But yeah, so any uh, places you'd uh, recommend to uh, s- swing by? I don't really know Banff that much. I know there's or, a lot of Australians you know, there. Alberta. Uh, Alberta <laughs> yeah, I've general. heard the Australians are yeah, all over. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, if you're in uh, in the neighborhood, you're clo- I mean, you're very close to Calgary from Banff, so there's yeah. a lot of cool stuff in Calgary, always some great shows going on. 
Um, I always think if people come to Edmonton, they should come to the mall, the giant mall. If, if everyone always says, I hate malls, which is but, true. It's an awful place to be, but it's also pretty great. Yeah, I've heard it. there's roller coasters. There's oh, yeah. is everything you can think of. They got water slides. They got, you know. I had. Uh, there was a giant whale. They got rid of the giant whale. Oh, no, they put it back. Um, huh. You know, you can go skating. You can go skating and swimming and... You can shoot a gun. There's a gun range. <laughs> like, no kidding. You can go see a movie, shoot a gun. Uh, you know, get. A, I think you can get a tattoo. There's, like, a water jet massage. It's By the end of the day, you're going to hate that place, and you're going to hate the whole Concept. civilization. Huh. But you should. everyone should go at once. Oh, yeah. I, I agree. I think the fact that they've managed to jam that many things into a mall. Yeah. Um, well, I think they're catering to a little bit of the tastes for everyone. Right. Is, there is something for everyone. Oh yeah, although, in, but also something for no one at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. Yeah. Um. So, um, just a quick reminder to everyone out there listening: we do have a live stream going on uh, on YouTube. We got, I think it's a psychedelic kind of cool little backdrop behind uh, John. I gotta ask you right now because it's gonna start getting. Is your name John? No, it's Jim. Jim. So that's why I made up John. <laughs> So, con- okay, here, so so it's Jim Cumming, and then I was looking on Wikipedia one day, and then Cumming, the old spelling, the old-timey spelling from, like, a thousand years ago was Cumming, C-O-M-Y-N, and then I was on, like, at the time, I was on a bit of, like, a history kick or whatever, so then I just started riffing, and I was like, Common, John Common, because it just kind of sounded good. I thought it looked good written, and then I just kind of made a MySpace page, and that was it, um, <laughs> and now, ten years later, I'm still here. I'm like, huh, like, that was the only thing I could have thought of, like, but, uh. But it's, you know, hey, it's a I, thing. I mean, it clearly worked. I mean, here you are. Oh, here I am. <laughs> it worked so well. Yeah. No, it's all right. I do. I, sometimes I get embarrassed. But the other day, last fall, I was on tour with my band, and we went to a restaurant, and the, and the waitress was, like, asking us about what we're doing, and, and they were, like, trying to push the band. They were like, yeah, we're here with, a, with some music with a band. And uh, she's like, oh, what band? And, and they were like, his band. And they were like pointing at me. And, and she's like, oh, cool. What's your band? Like, she wants to know. And I was just like, I was too embarrassed. Like, I was just like, oh, yeah, it's just, it's just my band. It's, uh, you know, we're pretty, pretty good. I think she thought I was being rude because I was really evasive. But it's like, really, I was just like, oh, God, what am I doing? It's like, what's the name of the band? Yeah, we play kind of folky music. Oh, exactly. What, that what's is, the name I of the band? I just deflect every direction I can deflect, <laughs> which is not really good. You should probably have a band name you can just say. Nah. But, uh, you know whatever yeah exactly good. so then <laughs> promotion is overrated <laughs> absolutely yeah. um people hearing you is overrated yeah i mean as long as the music is good right sure and, which I'll, and I'll keep working on that too yeah, yeah. um <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's uh hit it back to some tunes do you uh sure i mean it, if you feel in it yeah i uh, let's see what else do i do should I do, how many more should i do should i do one more uh I think we got time for two more right now. Oh wow! Okay. If you want, we can sure. do one more. I planned, I planned five, but you know what? I got to play them all eventually anyway. I mean, Maybe no pressure. I'll do, uh, sure, I'll do a couple more. Yes, in this tuning. Sorry, I should have done this before. Ah, no, no worries. We can uh, keep jibber jabbering while you do it, if you can. Luckily, this guitar is very good. Doesn't need very much tuning. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Oh, you know, I have three that could go together. Well, I'll just do two. I'll just do two. Whatever you're feeling. They're very sketchy, so we'll see how this goes again. (laughs) This is good practice for me. Awesome. All right. You're listening to John Common. On 93.3 CFRU FM. Enjoy. Inside of you 
Thin air wrapping in a mist for you Kissing under Grab hold of what's along the ground Listen for a sound you never heard Soft as singing Living for something outside of you Spill the light inside of you Whatever feeling comes along Is it gone? Is it gone? Whatever happened to your song? Is it wrong? Is it wrong? Debating shades of gray and brown Count your breath, counting up and down Still there's nothing in the air No music hangs there Ponder with your heart across the town Fretting in a new neighborhood You don't know what's good Light is spinning from outside the room the Inside of something new Whatever feeling comes along is it gone? Is it gone? Whatever happened to your song? Is it wrong? Is it wrong? Send it back to you Parading darkness on the light To wake the night I don't want to breathe the air I don't want to go outside Well, find a light all alone In a dream, trying to figure Swimming to see what I could find To wake the night To wake the night I 
will spend the night alone We'll find a way alone Welcome back. You're listening to 93.3 CFRUFM. And that was, again, still John Common. Or Jim. Still Jamin. Still Jamin. <laughs> see what you did there. It's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> um, again, really love that. What was that last one you played? So those ones were on this last record on the I Need Love record. Um, that one was called I Need Love Modern. There's three oh. self-titled tracks. This oh. is the kind of monkey business I do <laughs> when left to my own device. This is why I'm collaborating this time so I don't get too far ah. uh, in the weeds. Uh, but it's you know. Hey, I mean, as long as the song's good, right? Sure. Well, it, you decide that. <laughs> um, so let me ask you, what's your favorite uh, song to play? Of mine? Doesn't even have to be your own song, I mean, any song. I don't do a ton of cover. For a while, I was doing Salisbury Hill. I was doing Salisbury Hill and Low C, like Peter Gabriel. Climbing okay. up on Salisbury Hill, because I, I thought it would be a big like, oh man, that's great. He's doing Salisbury Hill. That's hilarious. But instead, it was this room full of like younger people. They didn't know what it was. Uh, so I was like, all right, well, I'll just do. It's a good song anyway. It's a very yeah. good song. I mean, they might not know it and think it's your own. Exactly. I take credit <laughs> for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so would you say it's Salisbury Hill then? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Um, Oh, I had a question, but now it's also gone. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Um, so what are some artists you kind of, you listen to? Um, some of your favorite bands? I don't know. This is always a tough one. I mean, uh, recently, uh, lately I uh, picked up that new uh, the new uh, Warm Drugs from last year. That was really nice. Uh, I liked that Proto Martyr record last year. That was very nice. The uh, uh, Proto Martyr, uh, hmm. like a Detroit band. Okay. Uh, you know what else? Uh, I was doing like old stuff, or you know, just uh, I never know how to answer it because I'm. I'll think of this n- a week from now. But I, <laughs> I should like. Yeah, exactly. I should have thought of that. Time. I don't know. You know, all the all the greats. Actually, you know what? I just b- um, before my trip, I got. I, got, I borrowed my dad's uh, best of the Doobie Brothers and ripped it. Doobie Brothers, um, and uh, yeah, that was that was good. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we're talking about oldies, I found a really great uh, old tune the other day. Um, by the other day, I mean like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. But the point is, it's the Bee Gees. Sure, yeah. Tragedy. I don't know if you it's you're familiar with it, but uh, I, would I haven't heard it front to back. No, oh. no, like it's the individual song. It's called Tragedy. Okay, okay. I can't I, remember the exact album it's off of. Cool, cool. But it's a uh, it's a uh, real good one. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to do a dive into them, but yeah, yeah. I just I, I just know like the big hits right now. But the be- the best way I can kind of describe it is it's like the final countdown meets the Bee Gees. Right. But Amazing. definitely worth checking out, especially to any of the uh, listeners out there. You know, after you've listened to Jom's entire discography, check out the Bee Gees. Right. Tragedy. In that order. <laughs> I'll take the low end. They can do the high end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I think I'm kind of running out of questions for you. Yeah. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good, too. All right. Maybe I'll ask you a question. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, oh, uh, uh, what are you doing tonight? Are you going, or did, were you at some shows last night? Or are you, um, are you going so, uh, regrettably, unfortunately, uh, got scheduled at my part-time job mm-hmm, mm-hmm. every night this week. Oh, sure. <laughs> aside from Friday. Yeah. So, I'll be checking out, I think it's e- Eddie Evie. Let me just recheck that one. Evie Eddie and Kurt Ender at Take Time on Friday night. Those are the ones I, I think I'll be able to make. But Nice. But yeah, so I mean, unfortunately, I won't be able to see you live. But well, I mean, right. that's why I'm here right now. You're taking getting, advantage of it. Eh? This is yeah, this is very special <laughs> for the people listening. I mean, I'm basically playing just two wobby, looking right at directly, each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, so not very many people get that. So yeah. you know, this is, uh, this, is this will make up for it. Yeah. More intimate than uh, Dean's. The Mike Dean's house. Mike yeah, Dean. Yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah, but, yeah exactly. It's way more intimate. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm sure you're, you'll uh, do a killer job tonight. Um, the crowd will go wild. You're playing with um, Bird City. 
Yeah. Right? I and just met them last night. They're fantastic. Yeah. And uh, Luca. Yeah. I, I haven't think. met uh, them yet, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited to play. Yeah. Um, and you come on at 930 again for everyone listening at 10C Shared Space, right? Yeah, I guess it's a newish kind of art space. Yeah, I guess, I, yeah. I'm trying to think of it, but I don't think I've ever been there. It's yeah. I think they just finished renovating it. I think S- someone said it was a coach store, a coach store, a, a couch store. Oh, like huh. I mean, I think it. I I was just looking up uh, images of like this space. Yeah, I mean, it definitely it is. Like a, yeah, could be a couch store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, but, I, this is Brian over in the production studio. I'm just going to interject for a second, hi, but Brian. just to let you know that 10C is the the new 10 Carden space. It's down on Carden Street, right by City Hall. If anybody's listening and is wondering about the venue, it's the fourth floor of uh, what was the Acker's building, which was the furniture store. Mm. Uh, uh, sorry to interrupt. No, you no, guys are good. great. You can get and some Guelph history. Yeah, I'm going to turn my volume down now. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Brian, while we got you, is it 42 Carden or is it on 10 Carden? So it is 42. 42, that's the address. Okay. The organization is 10 Carden because that was their former address. But it's 10, 10 C is the name of the venue. Uh, it's the fourth floor of 10 C at 42 Carden. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So right. And you know, talking to Bride just now, it reminded me, I, I, I need to plug my meter. I didn't get your uh, license plate number, so I couldn't I know, do it for I forgot you. to give it to you. I think you'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. the University of Guelph are benevolent. Otherwise, I'll, I can never come back here. We'll cover I you. Can, I can never come back here. Worst case scenario, just don't pay it. Yeah. But then but then I can never come back here. Then I can well, never I think again. Then you just can't get your transcripts. <laughs> yeah, I can't get my transcripts. Oh, you know what? It's a rental, so I, I'm in disguise. I'm like a chameleon. They'll exactly. never catch me. Well, yeah. But you're here, and then you're gone, and they'll never know what happened. Yeah. Um. <laughs> But awesome. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, definitely if you, you're, you know, planning on checking out some shows tonight, I would definitely recommend swinging by uh, 10C to check out John at uh, 930. Um, and yeah. Yeah. I'm very, uh, very uh, happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, no and everybody here is CFR, uh, C- F R U R F U C F R U C F R U. I'm getting. I'm trying to memorize all the all the station tags. There was a time when I first started. Uh, I did a show where no matter what I tried to do, every time I signed off or went to a song, I'd say C R F U. Yeah. And it just kind of sounded very like mixed in. I mean, nobody wants to hear F U. No. <laughs> nobody wants that. So, so uh, yeah. Well, very go. happy. Thank you, C F R U, uh, for all the love they showed me over the years, and uh, very happy to finally be here. Yeah, thanks for coming. This was a blast. I had a great time. I think maybe I'll get a coffee mug before I go. Oh, yeah, definitely. If if you have some here for sale, I'd love one. (laughs) Oh, yeah. All right. Um, Thanks, John. Um, You're listening to 93.3 CRF. Ah, see, just did it. (laughs) CFRU. Got into my head. Um, We will play off with uh, a song off of John's album, Black uh, Pits. Um, this is actually John. Do you have a favorite song off that album? Uh, I uh, I there's a they're all really short. Uh, I've been told that my vocals sound pretty good on track number one. Try keep trying. Yeah, but uh-huh. it's only about you know twenty seconds long. But uh, you know, I like that song. Yeah. Huh? All right. Well, let's do. We have two okay. votes. All right. Yeah, it'll be uh, long enough for us right now. Uh, this is. Keep trying by keep trying by John Common. You're listening to 93.3 CFRU FM. Be sure to check them out at 10C tonight. Uh, have a good one. <laughs>